hello, if you remember, we wrote the three top condiatushan, in this latter language. Now, let's start with some rules of branches in latter language. In this project, we've seen how branches can be inserted. With branches, we can make parallel logic, in other words or logic. Because the output will be turned on, if the power pass from first branch, or, another branch. In other side, there is an logic. It's, when ladder component are inserted series, like S3 and S4 contacts or like S2 and S4. Because if S3 and S4 are pressed simultaneously, the power will pass of the branch. Branches are opened downwards after a selected element. And branches are terminated after the selected LAD element. Let's come back to my programs with press CTRL plus Z key, on keyboard. Now let me delete this. As you see, I can close branches manually. And if you want to delete a branch, all element of that branch must be deleted. Now we're going to write appropriate program for another output. The three phase motor. As you see, there are three conditions which turn the motor on. So let's write its program like the lamp program. Now we just need to write appropriate tags, because we've defined our addresses before. OK, our program is complete. Let me to have a better view of our program. As you see, there are two circuits can called rung. A rung starts with a power line, and closed by a coil or a box, which the result of logic operation will be written there. Now these two rungs are in a same network with this name. Suppose you want to have a blinker lamp when a three-phase motor is turned on. In this case both of these outputs can be in a same network. But in our project the lamp and the three-phase motor are independent. So to have a better program, I move the second rungs to next network. As you see the name of network 2 is changed to the contactor of the three phase motor. If you remember, this is our output comment which has been defined for K1 output. Now see what do these icons do. With these icons, we can choose which information appear in the program. Addresses, tags or comments.
let's see the next concept. Crossings or nodes. This is a crossing for example. So, a crossing, is a node, where one branch is closed, and the same time, another branch is opened. In this case, virtual power reach to output, if S1 switch is pressed, or, S2 or S3, and one of next two switches are pressed. I press Ctrl plus Z on keyboard to come back. Now we're going to test this program. If the PLC SIM of TIA software, has been installed in your computer, you able to test the program without any PLC. To test, click on online menu, select simulation, and click on start. For this message, click on OK. This message warns you, starting simulation will disable all other online interfaces. Click on OK. Now you can see your virtual PLC on the left side which is connected to TIA software. Now TIA software, starts to check, and compile your program. Then click on load, to move the programs to virtual PLC. This message tell us the loading is complete without any error. Then, here click on start module to start PLC. Pay attention, there isn't any hardware switches on the CPU, to start it manually, such as S7300 or S7400 models. It's mean, we need TIA software to start the S71200 CPUs of Siemens company. Now, the latter program in my computer, has been transferred to my virtual PLC, which you see it on the left. I want to see what happen in my virtual PLC program, not in my TIA software. So click on this glasses icon. When I press this icon, TIA software show me the PLC program which connected to TIA. So, the working windows is changed a little. For example the color of this window is changed to orange color. The instructions in the left side are gone. Instead of that, a CPU appear here. Or on the left, appear some green circle. To turn output on, virtual power should reach to output from one of three branches. For example consider first line. We want to change the state of normally open contact with I0.0 .0 address to close. To do this and base on this wiring, we should press S1 switch, to reach 24 volt DC to PLC input, with I0.0 .0 address. But our PLC is virtual. It's not real. So we should change the state of PLC input with another way. Here, in the watch and force table, click on force table. First select any address you want. I select S1 with I0.0 .0 address. And here write a valid value. For a binary address like I0.0, .0, we just have two valid value. 0 or 1, in other word false or true. I write 1 here. Then, click on this icon, to use inserted value in program, instead of real value. As you see the main LED color is changed to orange. Because this way usually is used in maintenance processes. As you see, when a address get a value from force table, the F letter will be appear. In our latter program, power is reached to output, from first line, and the output is turned on. But here, the virtual power just passed the first contact and hasn't reached to this output. So, let me again, to change the state value of I0.3 address, which its tag is S4, in the force table. Now both output are turned on. With force table you can change any address value. To cancel force values, 
come back to this table and click on this icon. As you see, the main LED is turned off. And in the program, our addresses have their real value. After testing, click on glasses icon, to exit of CPU. Also, we can compile, or download programs to PLC manually. Click here to compile your programs. Its result shown here. Now select your PLC and click on this icon to download PLC programs and its settings, to a virtual or real PLC. Pay attention, always the result of your actions are shown here. Let me close virtual PLC and have a summary. As you've seen, the latter language is similar to industrial circuit. It starts from a power line and base on some condition, turn on some outputs. A crossing is a node, which one branch is closed, and the same time another branch is opened. Series or N logic can be created by inserting ladder component in a same line. We can have parallel logic, in other words or logic by using branches. And we saw, what is rungs, and how arrangement them in networks. In this project we've used just these instructions. These instructions are used frequently in ladder language, and you can find them in this folder. Here are other instructions which can be used in ladder language, which oriented in this window. In the next lessons we're going to learn them.